official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Two Illini tested positive for COVID-19 on Thursday, including starting quarterback Brandon Peters. He'll miss the next 21 days along with redshirt tight end freshman Griffin Moore. Twelve others were sidelined against Purdue due to contact tracing or injuries. But despite the Illini down in numbers, they still took the field at Memorial Stadium to host the Boilermakers for the home opener. About 1,000 player and coach family members in attendance to see Purdue take a 14 nothing lead as Aiden O'Connell finds Milton Wright for the 45-yard touchdown early in the second quarter. Illinois responds. Mike Epstein runs it in from seven yards out. His first score since tearing his ACL last year. That cuts the lead in half. Both teams trade field goals before the break. James McCourt, he was another guy missing today. So Danville product Caleb Griffin in to kick his first career field goal from 28 yards out. 17-10 at halftime. The Boilermakers start to pull away in the third. O'Connell off the play action, eludes the sack and hits his top target, David Bell, for the touchdown. One of his nine catches for a game-high 122 yards for him. Then the Purdue defense takes advantage of Karan Taylor fumble. He's in the game as a starter after, Matt, Matt, after starter Matt Robinson went out with an injury. Jalen Graham with the recovery. It'll be 31-10, but the Boilers will Looks like they're going to run away with it. But Taylor Rallies hitting USC grad transfer Daniel Imator Bebe across the middle. He's in from 28 yards out. The tight end's first touchdown. Then Taylor to Miami transfer Brian Hightower. All of a sudden, the Illini are in business. It's down to a one-score game. Defense holds him down. Illinois driving with less than two minutes to go. But they can't convert on the fourth down. 31-24, the final. Purdue ends up taking the Cannon Trophy back to Indiana. Fourth string Ron Taylor went for 273 yards and two touchdowns. Jake Hansen led the team on the other side of the ball with 14 tackles and a forced fumble. WCI3 Sports Director Brett Behrens has more from Memorial Stadium. The biggest storyline of the day for Illinois had nothing to do with what happened on the field, but rather who wasn't on it. 14 players out, two testing positive for COVID-19, including starting quarterback Brandon Peters. His backup, Isaiah Williams, also not here at Memorial Stadium, along with several other notable players due to contact tracing. Four starters gone in all, and after Matt Robinson left the game in the first half with an injury, Peoria's Karan Taylor took advantage of his opportunity in his first game playing meaningful minutes giving the Illini a chance to win. No, I did feel good out there. It was good. I, I was calm and collect. Not many people can can put a, a guy that's listed fourth on the depth chart. So to step in in that situation and run the offense, uh, that says an awful lot. Taylor waited three years to get a chance to show his abilities. The last time the redshirt sophomore played this much was actually at Memorial Stadium when he won a state title with Peoria. And ironically enough, his former Lions teammate Kendra Green was the one snapping him the ball today. He moved from guard to center after Doug Kramer was ruled out. A lot of guys count Karan out. Counted Karan out a long time ago. I knew once he'd get his chance, he'd, he'd do the most with it. And he did really well. He's got some dog in him, I'll tell you that. He definitely has got, I'm, got my support. I'm, uh, Karan Taylor stepped up big for us and filled a big role for us and was able to get stuff done. Um, I think I think he cleans up a little bit, like taking care of the football a little bit better, and we'll be in some good, we'll be in good business. After giving up 17 first half points and 14 in the third, the Illini defense buckled down in the fourth, not allowing any points. The secondary is still a concern, though. The Boilermakers had their way passing, throwing for 376 yards. Illini head coach Lovey Smith and linebacker Jake Hansen both said after the game, it's simply up to the back seven to play better. Reporting for your Alina Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports.